Welcome to Season 2 of the To Health With That podcast, where we break up big health topics into small bites. I'm Amy, and this season I'll share all the tips, tricks, and hacks you need to get healthy with an MTHFR mutation in a step-by-step, week-by-week process. I can't wait. This week, let's talk about another gene SNP, MAOA, and what it means for you. MAOA is an enzyme of singular importance, and the gene SNPs that alter its activity have additive effects, just like the COMT gene SNP that we spoke about some months ago, to produce either a fast or slow action. MAOA stands for monoamine oxidase. A, there's also a B. And it is the primary breakdown pathway for your monoamine neurotransmitters, which, unfortunately, is all the big names, serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. I'm hoping just that this tiny introduction is raising red flags in your brain because these three little things, serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, determine so much of how you feel, how you act, and how you present in the world. An interesting note about the MAOA gene before we get started Most of the gene SNPs we've talked about are linked to regular old chromosome pairs, meaning there are two functioning copies of every gene. This particular gene is X-linked, meaning that it sits on the X chromosome, or chromosomes, that are responsible for physiological gender determination. So men have an X and a Y chromosome, meaning they only have one copy, on the X chromosome, of the MAOA gene. Women have two X chromosomes, but one is generally silent. So in women's genes, there's no way on a genetic report to tell which copy of the MAOA gene is actually active. So symptoms are always the best place to look. So as with the COMT gene that we spoke about before, MAOA slow means that breakdown of these neurotransmitters is slow. Therefore, the levels are higher than they would be in a person with wild-type genetics. So slow actually means high levels. High neurotransmitters sounds amazing, right? Extra serotonin. Who doesn't want that? Well, unfortunately, everyone doesn't want that. As with everything else in health, the key factor here is balance, and excess doesn't amount to balance. Neurotransmitters are one of the ways you respond to life and the things around you. So if your neurotransmitters are too high, that can lead to basically too much response. Some of the signs to look for in a slow MAOA picture are irritability or aggression that comes on in a heartbeat, right? Swift acceleration from 0 to 100 on the anger scale. Jumpy, anxious, easily startled. Difficulty to calm down or regulate moods after stress, after anger, or after excitement. And also, general anxiety or irritability. The hallmark here is that rapid escalation that's very difficult to come down from. So it's like zero to 100, and then from 100, you sort of stair-step, 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 but it takes a really long time to get back to zero. So there are ways to balance a slow MAOA, and one of the key factors is helping your psychology and physiology to either calm down or remain calm. So there's a number of things we can do to do that. First, on a purely biological level, riboflavin. Make sure you're getting enough riboflavin or vitamin D- B2 because MAOA does need this as a cofactor. Blood sugars. Stabilize your blood sugars with three regular higher protein meals per day and no sugary drinks or snacks. Blood sugar fluctuations are extremely internally stressful And they lead to aggression and irritability in anybody with wild-type genetics, let alone with this hair trigger. So stable blood sugars are key here. Also, remove stressors. With a slow MAOA picture, stress just is not your friend, right? And life has lots of stressors, but there are a lot of them that are self-imposed or optional. Let go of the toxic friends, the extra things at work that aren't actually adding up to anything. The projects you think you maybe should do but don't actually want to, um, kind of do a stress edit on your life and take out any of the extras, right? That applies to, like, PTA meetings, right? It's a, it's a nice idea, but not everybody needs to be there. 
Boost your glutathione. We've talked for ages about this, so I won't reiterate a point, but check out Season 1, Episode 14, MTHFR and Glutathione, or Season 2, Episode 32, A Glutathione Review. So glutathione does help to decrease inflammation and reduce some of the hydrogen peroxide that's caused by high stress hormones. And of course, that is going to be an issue with an MAOA slow picture because we've got high stress hormones. Eliminate your food sensitivities. So eating foods that your body is sensitive to raises your inflammation, which in turn boosts your stress hormones. The goal with a slow MAOA is to keep stress hormones under control. Meditate. Meditation is actually one of the most effective non-drug methods of balancing neurotransmitters with any kind of gene SNP. Even something as simple as three minutes of a mindfulness meditation daily can have huge results over time. Also, step away from the trigger. So very few people want to be the explosive member of their family or the one that gets angry and then can't get unangry. Because of this tendency to explode into anger or irritability, if you have normal situations that make you angry, instead of fully engaging and driving up those neurotransmitters even more, I mean, especially in a situation where you just don't want to be this person, right? Where you don't want to engage with your family in an angry way or whatever. Take a step away, right? So if you feel yourself getting into that angry place, take a brisk walk for a few minutes, do some jumping jacks in your office, even just take a few minutes to look at a painting you love or listen to a song that makes you happy or do whatever it is that you can do to reduce those stress hormones. Once you've used this technique a few times and with a few different activities, you'll figure out what actually works best for you. Also, try reducing tryptophan intake. So tryptophan is the precursor to serotonin, and often people with a slow MAOA will crave carbs where tryptophan is really high. But eating too many carbs is like dousing the angry fire with gasoline. It just isn't the best idea. So make sure your meals are protein-heavy and carb-light. Thank you so much for listening today. And if you're looking for an amazing community of folks who are also working with their genes to get better then Genetic Rockstars is definitely for you. Enjoy a free two-week trial at community.tohealthwiththat.com. And next week, we'll talk about the corollary MAOA FAST picture. 